Well, hello, YouTube. I'm here today to rant about my life. But since I don't have a front view camera, Roadbuster will be helping me out this time. Is this thing on? Hello, kids. I'm Roadbuster. And today, I'll be explaining how his life goes. Seriously, what's wrong with this camera? What's, what's wrong with this thing? Dude, what? What is wrong with this thing? Come on, man, I could have been banging RSC and you sitting down here and just trying to rant about your life. You know, I'll just do it for you. Alright, so, when he was young, well, he's still young now. Crap, I really don't know how to say this, but he didn't have a good time getting up, growing up. When you, when little Jordan was born, he was showered with gifts, covers, everything glowered. When he, when he was about six months, he started getting trapped in a playpen that I used to call the jail. Now the jail... Oh my gosh, stunk. All they gave me was probably a hot, some hot water and not even spoiled milk. I mean, come on. Spoiled milk. And my mother got back. All she did was want to sleep, 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 sleep. Ev all the bloody time. All the bloody time. And probably she'd get me a toy or two for Christmas, you know, all that stuff. I was quite the peaker. Around seven to eight years old, around that time, I was abused by my uncle. It was kind of, I kind of was like out there. I was out at a neighbor's house instead of telling them, checking in, you know. But come on, people make mistakes. So, guess what? He watches me take a bath. It's screwed up. He, he makes me... I, 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 I'm getting out the shower with the towel. And then, and I go in my room, and I see the belt. And he's just starting to just beat me with it and beat me with it. I'm still wet. It's like, it's not as bad as a wet rag, though. Those things actually hurt a lot more, but... When, and then during that, he accidentally struck me with the... Let's say, um... Something he struck me with. Well, actually, the belt, the belt buckle. It was an accident, but... Then I'm crawling and I'm crying in my little oasis there. Back to around, well, one year, when I was one year and about three months, I, I was sent over to my granny's, which is the place that I'm laying right now. But the backstory behind that, my mother said she was coming and she never came. I cried those nights. I cried myself to sleep. I was in that playpen for a long time until my granny invited me into her bed. Non-sexual. It's non-sexual. USA is messed up. And I hope, I hope whoever created those laws dies. Now, getting back to the serious stuff. When, when I was about say mm, uh, um, about uh, let's say five I guess I got enrolled in Stewart Elementary which is now shut down for being the one of the lowest in Chicago and having lead poisoning it's been on probation for years 
and I had this teacher named Miss Owens. Miss Owens was not an abusive teacher. She, well, she, actually, she was. She beat us with a ruler whenever we act whiny. She beat us with the ruler whenever she wanted. And uh, I used to think it was just random discipline, but when you can't complain about it. That's where most of my discipline came from. Then my granny, around three years old, I started eating out granny's plants. Yeah, it's screwed up, right? And then me, me, myself. That since I didn't care for anybody to hang out with me, or around that time, I just like talking to myself. Yes, I talked to myself, I held conversations with myself, and that is why now I'm doing this video. But that's not important. When you actually care about something, make it happen, man, make it happen. I'm sorry about the lighting. It's it's a little lamp. Come on. All right, get up, Roadbuster. All right. To tell you something about how I feel about the whole situation. What's wrong with the camera? Get that out of my face. What? It's not funny. Move it. All right, that's better. Now. Are you serious? Are you? I'm gonna punch you in the face. Stop that. Okay. Now. Now we're gonna get back to what we're talking about here. Stop it. Now we're gonna get back to what we're talking about. It was kind of a little random, random violence here and there. And eventually, around the age of eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven. I was abused by my mother's boyfriend. His name was Tony. He had yellowed eyes that he had a liver problem. He had the face of a he had the face of a beautiful man and both at the same time the face of terror. Just the mere sight of his face made me want to piss myself on sight. But I held myself together. Those three abusive years that I really did not take. And then, oh, it gets worse. I don't even know who my father is, and my mother won't, won't, won't look it up to tell me. She probably burnt all the pictures of my father. Because she's so self-centered and messed up for that. Um... Then she gets with this guy named Rico. I mean, he sounds like a... He was a nice guy. I mean, he was alright. But he was a... He was a weed smoking... Now everybody in this house smoked. Uh, it's... I could barely breathe in there. But... I mean, I'm comfortable. But every Thursday night... Night, when my mother used to be working at Pop Bellies... She went over there and spent the night, and they got busy most of the time. It's not how I feel about them. It's, it's kind of screwed up, actually. I'm not happy with what I'm getting ready to say right now, but screw Rico. You know what he did to my mother? He gave her a sec the second child. Name was Maria. I loved my little baby sister. I love her. I still love her today. She's going to turn three in June. But guess what ruined me like that? I love her, but she's ruining me. She's going to ruin my bloody life. Now, it was all it was all about the baby, the baby. I'm like, okay, can I help? Can I help? No, Jordan, you're, you're too irresponsible. Jordan, you have a low attention span. Jordan, you're fl you're flimsy. Jordan, yeah, Jordan, you. Oh, oh yeah, my 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 grand no, my uncle. He tells me cover up those spots. Oh yeah, I used to pick myself. Cover up those spots. You 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 look like a chimpanzee, and some of my friends say polka dots. 
polka dots. That's the best thing you could come up with. I call myself a Dalmatian. That's even worse. People complain about, oh, Jordan's ugly. I'm not ugly. There's a lot more people that are ugly. Everybody's beautiful in their own way. And, gah, just make, just kills me to hear people just having hatred against each other. When I know, oh, my mother, my mother and my aunt, so she always, my aunt always blames my mother for things. Then they've had a falling out. Never saw them again. I had an abusive cousin named Jamel. Yes, another abusive cousin. I'm 12 today, so that's around... Actually, it's most of my life. It's from 3 to about, uh, I would say, 11. 3 to 11. He tortured my life. He made an... He, he said, Jordan, you're strong. Go ahead, you're tough. Hey, Jordan. Yo, yo, you gonna cry? You gonna cry? Did you take that, Jordan? I hated every minute for it. But now, now he's large, more large than I ever thought he was gonna get. Now I'm like, oh crap! I can't face him now. He's too, too powerful, and eventually, he'll outmatch most of the strongest people. So. Uh, those screwed up things. What do you? What else do you think is going to happen besides that? And then I sit down here, and I tell myself what's wrong. But what's really wrong is the fact that I sit up here. And I take it all, take it all, like little fool, right? Like I did. No, nope, nobody cares, man. And then. In science fair, I just hate when I have to do science fair. I was out. I always get. I always embarrass myself and eventually get pissed off and outburst in class. Oh, let me get to those. In first grade, I almost got expelled from a school because I was being a total douchebag. So things happen, man. And come on, it's, come on. It was first grade and. <sighs> And I thought it couldn't get any worse. Third and fourth grade. Sent me a special ed class with some messed up lady. She was kind of messed up herself. She had some problems of her own. And during that time, I met one of my greatest friends, Elijah. Elijah, he was a... He was a black Christian. He was not that black. He was kind of a mix. His mother was white and his father was blacker than the night. So he came out kind of looking... Well, I don't even know. But when you look at it, we used to draw comics together. It used to be extra fun. It was the best thing in the world to me. I had my most fun. With my friend. But then when people want to sit up there and be offensive douchebags. Oh yeah. Here we go. Fifth grade. One of my worst outbursts of life. Like, I'm like, oh Jordan, you can't you can't just get up like that. I'm like, what? I don't understand. And then then, then they made fun of my voice just because it's cracking. If you're gonna make fun of my voice, why don't you just, why don't you just get up then and just announce like I do instead of just? <laughs> I'm actually pretty tired right now, but I have to tell you every single detail. I did not fit in at all, not one bit. Ugh. It was one of my years, and most of the time I got, and I met my wonderful teacher, Miss Nichols. She always kept me on my two feet. She didn't keep me from falling down. Sixth grade. One of the worst years of my life.
Um, things happened. Oh, I got laid. It was, but it was not the best time that I had. It was forced upon. It was not the best time to sit down and talk about how I'm feeling. So, when I think of it, sixth grade was a stress it, very stressing. I undergone, like, I sat down maybe two times in detention. And it was, one of them was for throwing a paper ball across the room. And the other was just for... I don't even remember. Mm. But I can't believe it. I didn't. I only had two detentions. No, not now. When you think of it, then things are kind of rough on my part. Things just were not going my way. I tried to make things work, but it's not gonna work. Seventh grade, the current year I'm in now. A girl named Christina comes in. So she's a new girl. And practically she knows everybody before before we could even explain. Yeah, she just literally says hey to everybody that, that she practically like oh I know her. she already knows everybody for some reason. <sighs> and then she's down here running the school. Well not necessarily running the school. But practically, like you're new and you're like Jordan, you don't know what you're dealing with. I know what I'm dealing with. I've been with these guys for three years. It kind of sucks, man. I'm going to just throw a roller buster down so I can scratch myself. Not in the balls. Look. Stomach. Stomach. You see where my stomach is? Stomach. I'm trying not to get emotional over this. Then at the beginning of the year, there's this girl named Amaya. Amaya, you know, not much of anything. She had nubbies, skinny, skinnier than me, of course, and almost as tall as I am. She wore cargo pants that showed the crack of her behind. It was kind of messed up, but at the same time, you wanted to slip a peek, but it's messed up. Well, around this time of year, oh, I've done lots of yelling at stupid people. I've yelled at most of my classmates in class. It just sucks. Why well, have to yell at people? You know? Well, I guess this is my final, final takeoff for this. This little turn, turn up. Uh, okay, this is it.